viewers welcome back in this video i will be showing you how i remove the adult parent discus from their babies so a lot of people asked when to remove the adult parents from their babies the answer is 30 days and now you know it it is necessary to do so because after 30 days the discus babies develop teeth like thing which can dig into the skin of the adult discus and can harm them. So it is necessary to remove the adult parent discus out of the tank in which the babies are kept. Also, if you watch till the end of the video, you can also know which all heating equipments I use for the breeding tank and how I set up the breeding tank. Also, you can know what I do with the discus fish babies, what I feed them and how to take care of them. So let's get started. Now this is the heating equipment I ordered about two weeks back. Now it arrived. I was waiting for it as the adult discus have to be moved to a separate aquarium and it needed a heating equipment. So this is a 100 watt Sobo stainless steel heater. It is very good heater because it is stainless steel on the outer side and does not damage easily. And also it is 100 watt so it saves a lot of electricity. This is a reader manual inside it. It can be fully submerged and uh, there is a minimal level up to uh, which it can be submerged in the water so it should not be exposed outside it should be always submerged in the water it has got a strong clip you can see and it does not come out easily from the aquarium walls so sobo 100 watt heater is a very good heater if you want to buy it i have dropped the links in the video description you can check it out it is 100 watt of sobo I am going to install the heater inside the separate breeding tank that I have set up. It has sponge filter and one adult discus already moved into it. Now the filter is firmly attached, we can continue with the rest of the things. So I have set the temperature around 28 to 30 degree. That is required for the discus. The water should not be very cold. A breeding tank should have a temperature around 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. I am going to clean the some waste that have been collected at the bottom. A weekly 50% water change is good for the breeding tank but if more discus babies are there you have to change the water after every 2 days. Now it is completely clean. Now it's time to add water up to the top level. At the time of adding water make sure that the heater is on so that the temperature can be up to 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. Now this is the female adult discus that I have kept with the discus fish babies. Now I have to remove this female discus out of this tank and put it in the separate breeding tank. So let's go for it. While catching them you have to take care you slowly bring the net close to the female discus. If she panics she will run all over this place and may harm her skin. So you have to take care of that. Now I got the female discus. Now the temperature is around 28 in both the tank. So there is no need of acclimation I can directly add. And there it goes.
now the breeding clone is missing in this tank rest all things are there that are required for a breeding tank i have the heater i have the sponge filter i have one aeration stone so a breeding clone is missing but uh, since the discus like to lay their eggs anywhere they like a breeding cone is not that essential bigger dark red discus is the male discus and the other one is the female discus i feed them daily twice during the morning and at the evening i feed them black worms tetrabits they like tetrabits very much and discuss day by day granulate they also like it now these are the discus fish babies there are only now 5 left so i have to take good care of them they like uh, the same food that the adult discus like like the day by day granulate discus food they like uh, very much if you want to know a complete video about feeding the discus i have made already a video you can see it in the card popping above now this is the sobo 100 watt heater that i have kept uh, in the other aquarium in which the discus babies are there so both the heater are of 100 watt and they are very good heaters so these are the breeding pairs i have i don't know they will lay eggs and bring out the offspring again i don't know about it if anything happens i will update about it to you guys so make sure you subscribe this channel if you haven't already so to take care of the adult discus you have to feed them daily morning and evening and do water change after one week or after 3 days every 3 days 20 to 25 percentage water change is enough for them and you have to take care that the all the dirts have been removed from the aquarium because it will again cause ammonia spikes and it is not good for the fish to take care of the discus babies you have to feed them baby brine shrimps i will make a video about how to make baby brine shrimps you have to feed them baby brine shrimps and you have to feed the discus day by day granulate or beef heart food there is a lot of video in the internet on how to make the beef heart food you can refer them usually the babies like the beef heart and they grow very fast because the beef heart are rich in protein so now you can enjoy these two adult discus they are very colorful and i think they are looking healthy also for this video i hope you liked it give this video a like and share it with your friends and do subscribe for watching the upcoming videos if you have any comments drop it down in the comment section and i will look into it so until next video bye and take care and thanks for watching